first um, video in a series for beginners on making a platformer game. And so when you start out, you should have something that looks maybe like this. But it won't probably have this. This will probably be up there. I just drag that down because I like it down there to see what, oops, what I'm doing. I didn't mean to do that. X out of that. And then if you want to add a tab, add tab game. And I want to drag the game thing so you can move, you can edit how you view everything. And so you need to make a new project called whatever you want. And you need to import these, the character controller, the light cookies, the light flare, particles, physics materials, scripts, skyboxes, and tube shading. I think that's all, but you can always import later. So, first of all, let's create a basic thing for our character to stand on, which will be a cube. And we don't want it there, because that's really weird. Oh yeah, hit F to focus, I forgot about that. And then, so you can, you can either come here to reset position, which is what I'm going to do, or you can set everything to zero. And let's hit F to focus on it again. You can come use these tools up here to change how you want it. Or hit W, E, and R to do that too. You can also scale it here, so I think I'm going to make it 0 0.1, no, 0 0.23. I like 0 0.1. And let's make it 12, let's say, by 2. I think that's good. Okay, so now if I hit play, if it loads, this is what we see down here. I think maximize on play, so then it'll maximize it. Then we hit play. And that's what you're going to see if you're going to play the game right now. But it's really dark. So let's game object, create other, and let's add a directional light. This acts like a sun, but we need to set everything to zero. Come up to Y. Make it negative, uh, say three. Yeah, three is probably good. Rotate it 45. I think 45 is good. I'll play to see if you like it. And there we go. Yeah, that's probably good, but it's a bit too bright for me. You can either do that by editing the color or the intensity. You can turn down the intensity. You can also just rotate it so it's less bright if I don't want to so that's pretty bright so what, so what I'm gonna do is you can get a picture of what you want I don't know where I put it oh yes I downloaded it downloads grass oops so I have to open back up unity so have unity and then get a picture that you got off the internet or something or you could have made it or something and just drag it into here and it'll import it like that create right click in the project view oops didn't mean to do that right click um create a material let's call it grass and, the, and then drag the grass texture that you brought in into here and then drag that material out onto there so you can see it's really kind of not nice looking so you can set the tiling so it's less pixelated let's say two by two i'm gonna say five by i don't know three yeah that's much better so now that we have that let's make a sky because this blue sky thing is kind of dull right there so edit render settings and then click that circle right next to skybox material if you imported it you should have it uh, so if you search sky, you should have all these sky boxes. If you imported the sky box, then I'm just gonna say sky, sunny sky box two. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, that's fine. And so now we need to do a bit. Of, let's first of all let's just drag this out. Zero zero zero. Enter. Zoom in. Let's move it back. Oh, I'll say negative 0.5. 5, not 0.5. And just say 1.5. I think that's good. And make sure it's at 0 so it's in the middle. Okay. 
now if I hit play, you see that the you see it out of the character's eyes. You can look around, you can you can jump, make sure you don't fall off. But if you do, there's nothing to stop you, so I can show you. But if you fall off, keep falling forever and ever until you get stopped, and obviously. And then it'll stop. But since this is a platform game, we want this camera right there to see this guy. So first of all, let's delete the main camera in here. Hit delete. And hit continue. And now we'll switch to the this camera's view. Now if we hit play, it's a bit better. You can still move around like all that and fall off the edge. But we don't want that. So the script I will put a link to I think in the description or you can just copy it. Subscript so I'm gonna create a folder called you don't have to do this part my scripts, but you will have to do the next part. And then come into here, right click, create a JavaScript and call it uh, I think it's platform controller. And then open that. And so it opens in Unitron and in on Windows it opens in Mono Develop. And Mono Develop starts batching for a Mac, then it disappears and then Unitron comes up. And sorry if mine always takes a long time. There we go. And now it is open. Okay, so right now if you type anything in here. It's on untitled right here. We don't want that. So you can double click on this. Get it onto the Ugh. Dang. So much lag. There we go. You can double click on it to open up the And it's not responding for square. Naturally. Okay, so open it up again. Let's try this for a second time. And now it's opening, and Unitron will come up. And here I'll open soon. There we go. So if you have more than one, you can just click on it down here because it'll go all the way down. But if you only have one, you have to go like that. I am going to copy and paste a script that is very, very hard and confusing, not good for beginners. If you want to, you can copy it, but I'm not going to be showing you guys it. It's just a way to make it move. And so, yeah, I think I'll put it on our website so you guys can download it or copy it. Hit, you can hit Command S to save, or you can go up to File, Save. Don't do Save As. And I'm not going to X out of that because I don't take forever. I'm just going to X out of that. So then when you come back to here, you can see that the script is all right and there are no errors those are just warnings that something else made oops standard assets scripts my scripts and then drag platform controller up onto the first person controller and we don't so let's get rid of the FPS input controller and then the character motor script and I can show you what happens if you have still have the mouse look. Because you can still go away, it's messing up. And but now you can jump and everything, you can't move off of it. And you can still jump off the edge. You must get rid of the, the mouse look thing because it messes it up. And then so and you don't like how high that jumps, right? So let's make it 1.5 so it'll jump at a decent height. Once it, hit, once it plays, we we see that's pretty good. Jumps a bit higher, but not too high. And I can jump off the edge. And so, to make sure it's, see, we got this error. And you probably did too. So, right here where it says spawn point, it says none, and it's a type of a transform, which is just something confusing that you can look up. If you're a winner, if you're a winner, it is, then that's fine. 
sorry about that, I'm dropping papers. And so we, I think, yeah, that's okay. But we need to make a spawn thing. So create an empty game object. Yes, I know what I'm doing. And then reset the position. And then see how it says free view first person control. It's negative 5, 1.5 1 .5 and stuff. So come to the AMT game object, you want to hit enter to rename it, or you can rename it from there. I'm going to call it spawn, you can call it whatever you want. Um, set it to negative 5, so it's right under him, and then 1.5, so that he won't fall through the floor when he spawns. And then, once you have that, go to first person controller, and drag spawn out onto this thing right there. And play. You shouldn't get this error anymore. If you do, just hit clear. And then you can jump stuff. You don't get that error anymore. Good. So, so now that we have that, we don't want him to fall off the edge at the start. So let's create a cube. And you're probably thinking, what the heck are we doing? Because the cube's kind of weird. Let's move it back. Uh, I can show you what, it, what I'm doing in a second. Move it back to say now. Take the Y, say five, six, seven. Say six, just for now. No. I forgot we even go with five. Five would be good. And then move it down. And then move the Z to two or three doesn't really matter and then the x we can make uh say 0 0.1 maybe doesn't matter just make sure it's above zero like that and right now if i hit play it's really weird now we see this giant wall thing here we don't want that most players won't like seeing a wall right there so to fix that, we can click on it, I'm holding ALT to rotate, and then uncheck the mesh renderer so it's not inv it's not visible but it's there. So C, now if I hit play, I can't I can't jump off the edge, I'm good trying I'm going as hard as I can. I can't get off the edge. But it wouldn't be much of a gain if we started going and the camera just stayed here the whole time looked right here, steered there, and went jumpy, jumpy, jumpy off the screen. So, into the component, no, I mean, with the main camera, component, uh, camera control, smooth follow. Set the target to the first person controller, the distance to, say, seven, the height to one, that to one, and that to zero. Now if we hit play, and we focus this in on it, it goes up and down and up, it goes with it. Okay, so I think, let's see how much time we might, um, yeah, I think that'll be all for today. One last thing, before, before you ever do something, Save project, and then hit save scene, and then type in game, or whatever you want to call it. Hit save. And now, you'll save it, and you can X out of it, and then you can come back to it later, and it'll still be like this. The exact same. So, you stuck him for falling off the edge right there, and you smooth followed. We made it so he can't go off the sides, but he can go forward and back. Okay. That's good. I will see you next time. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to um, ask me in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Bye. Thanks.